So, today's content is all about the five things that you're unlikely to recover from if you do them in an Amazon interview. I have my notes with me so I don't make any mistakes. So, the first one is, I call it talking at 10,000 feet. Amazon is a completely data-driven organization. It really is all about detail. So if you're answering a question in your interview process and if you've made it to loop, hopefully you've been through it a couple of times because you've done a telephone interview, but detail. Give people the detail. They want to really get a sense of, you know what you're talking about, you are deep in the detail. If you only ever talk really, really high level without any detail, people are gonna think that you probably didn't actually do that work because you just don't know enough about it. So, no 10,000 feet responses, get into the detail. Okay, next one. I take this one very, very seriously. I take all of them seriously, but this one in particular, I took very seriously um, as an interviewer and as a bar raiser. Don't denigrate your previous employer or specific individuals in your company. Now that many of us and many people have poor experiences, either with an employer or with a colleague, but do not denigrate them. It's fine to say you found the environment difficult or the environment wasn't for you and therefore you left or you found a particular relationship challenging. That explains some context, which is probably gonna be important when you're going into an example, but that's it. I right? Do not criticize people, do not insult people, do not call people names. That really sends up immediate earns trust flags because the truth is, when you get into Amazon, should you get into Amazon, you'll probably come across people that you don't get on with so well. And if the interviewer gets a sense of that you would speak about that individual or maybe even Amazon in the same way that you have just spoken to them about your previous employer or previous colleagues, that's gonna be a problem. So do not denigrate your previous employer or any colleague. Okay, next one. Kind of similar issue. Don't show pride in delivering results through, let's call them, ethically questionable decisions. There are often ways to achieve a result by bending the rules a bit. Um, it happens, some people choose to do it, some people don't. It's not something that people in Amazon would particularly be impressed with, um, so don't do it. You know, if you did something that got you somewhere, and actually on reflection, although it got you the results, but really, you would prefer you hadn't made that choice, that's probably okay to say because that's being vocally self-critical and from that you've learned something. But don't ever show pride in ethically questionable decisions. Okay, next one. This is important. Do not have inconsistent narratives between one interviewer and the next. Tell your story consistently because what's gonna happen is everybody's gonna document and write down what you say then everyone else is going to read what they documented. Then everybody else is going to discuss what they documented, what you said. So if you are inconsistent with how you've told the story across two different interviewers, and those inconsistencies actually matter quite a lot, um, that will surface and what it will do is it will cast doubt about the truthfulness and the credibility of one or both of those narratives. So be consistent. Clearly you're going to have to slightly reshape some of your examples depending on the type of question that you're being asked, but make sure you're consistent between one interviewer and the next. If you are not, it will bring into question your credibility. Okay, and the last one is overclaim. So I know we all want to put our achievements in the best light possible and of course Amazon interviewers would expect that but there's a fine line between doing that and overclaiming your contribution. If you do that, overclaiming your contribution quite consistently across what would be ultimately five different interviews probably, some people will have more um, more than five, um, but if you do that consistently across interviews, I promise you it will surface, it will surface, because one interviewer will hear something go, hmm, not sure that smells quite true, but I'll let it go. But if every single interviewer has that type of kind of response, 
and when they get into that debrief and they discuss it and it surfaces that everybody's got this slight uncomfortable sense that maybe you're overclaiming your contribution, it will look quite stark when that happens across five people. And again, it will cast doubt on your credibility and the truthfulness of the information you've shared. So do not overclaim. Okay, so that's it. So just quickly in summary, talking at 10,000 feet, not good. Denigrating previous company and colleagues, not good. Uh, showing pride in decisions that are ethically questionable, not good. Having inconsistent narrative across your various interviews, not good. And overclaim, not good. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time.